Hey everyone. So my little one recently got one of these. It's a Yoto player and I've been so impressed with it that I thought I would share my thoughts about it and tell you all why I think if you have young kids that it might be something worth looking into. Also, just to add that this video isn't sponsored in any way by the Yoto company. It was just a product that was bought and I just wanted to share it with you because I have just been so impressed with it. The Yoto player itself began with the idea child development was improved through allowing children to have certain levels of independence and to place emphasis on using physical objects in learning and play, whilst also incorporating tech to really open up a world of audio learning and interaction. At first glance, you might think the Yoto player may look like a child-friendly Bluetooth speaker, but there is much more to this device than just sending information from another device for it to play. With a built-in rechargeable battery and pixel display, the Yoto is controlled by physical cards using NFC technology that are inserted easily at the top of the device and children have the option to listen to child-friendly music, podcasts and stories. Enormous, and over his shoulder, he carries a nut as big as a boulder. In the box, you get, of course, the Yoto player, a magnetic charging dock, a welcome card and setup guide which takes you effortlessly through the startup process. It's all done relatively quickly with the longest part being the updating of the player itself. So yes you will need Wi-Fi to get set up and when you insert a Yoto card it will download the content so the next time you start it up it's much quicker and this also means that it can be used without being connected on future occasions. The downloads are all done in the background and it will play the music or story while it is downloading. It also means that the Yoto player does not have to be kept in one place and can be taken around by the child from room to room. And it's also not very heavy and seems quite durable. I mean, I haven't tried to drop this, but in the event that it did drop, it's really sturdy. It feel, feels really well built. So if it did drop, I feel like it could take the fall, um, but try not to drop it. So yes, this can be taken in the car or just wherever you need it to be. The battery lasts quite a long time and it's stated that it lasts up to 8 hours if the battery is on saver mode and a charge time of around 5 hours. The speaker quality is good, you will hear some crackling if there's a particular sound that's being played too loud. This device is not designed for that sort of output which is completely understandable as it's designed for children. And there is also an audio jack for headphone use. Getting back to the setup, this will be done primarily on your phone or tablet. You'll download the Yoto app for iOS or Android, create an account, link it to your device, and that's about it. So if you're not very tech savvy, don't worry as it takes you step by step and is really simple to use. The Yoto also acts as a nightlight and changes into that function as easy as this. From the app, you can also change the color of the light and use different presets for waking up and bedtime. You'll also find some ambient sounds to play in the app for downtime as well. Right, so that's all the tech side of things, but what's it really like for a child using the Yoto? What do you think about the Yoto player? <laughs> do you like the Yoto player? Yeah. My daughter really enjoys using it. She loves music and dancing, so the ease of being able to insert a card and have something start up straight away is very appealing to her. There is also a Yoto card for a kid's radio station that plays throughout the day, playing all kinds of familiar kids' songs and more. Of course, having her favorite stories read to her when she feels like it is also a big plus, and one of the main draws of the Yoto player is the library of cards that you can get for it. Because of the official licensing support of the device, it means you'll get stories from Roald Dahl, Enid Blyton, Lego, Disney, and the list goes on and on. You can also get books on inspiring figures such as Mary Seacole, Michelle Obama. There really is a wide and varied selection to choose from, and these cards range from $4.99 up to $8.99. And you can also have the option of buying them in packs. But it doesn't just stop there, as you can also make your own cards using these blank Yoto cards which are available for the player. And this can be your own music playlist or you can record your own stories on them. Again, this is amazingly simple to set up and all you'll need are some MP3 recordings using the app on your phone or from your PC. Create a playlist, give it a name, insert a blank card into the Yoto player, click link in your app, which then syncs all your audio tracks with the card. These can also be rearranged or recorded over using the same process so you don't ever have to feel limited with what you can do on your own card. You can also add custom icons for each track. These come included or again you can add your own. 
This isn't something you have to do though, but it's a clever little feature that just means you can personalize things even more for your child. I really found my time from setting up to using the Yoto really user friendly and intuitive from the very beginning to weeks on. It's a very useful and inventive device and children will really love the idea of having control over their own entertainment and learning. It just makes it all fun and interactive. My daughter has loved her time using the Yoto so far and it's been a great device for parent and child to bond with whether that's listening to music together or listening to a story. Again, although this device promotes self-play, it's also worth noting that the parent does have control over the device by using the app, meaning that you can start and stop content, control volume levels, disconnect the device from Wi-Fi, so you as the parent are always in control. There are no cameras or mics, so that's also something else that you don't have to worry about. The Yoto player is rated for three years and up, but really this is something that can be used from birth and taken through much of a child's early learning and beyond. Right now the Yoto can only be bought from the official website which I'll leave a link to below and also from Amazon. The Yoto costs $79.99 for the base player but you can also get different bundles like the 6 card starter pack for $89.99 so that's definitely something which is worth checking out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review and found it useful but if you have any more questions if there's anything that I may not have covered or that you might want to know if you're thinking of buying one of these for your kids then please let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more and I'll catch you next time.